I got the thing. And yeah, I can just walk out. Oh my god! Holy shit, that still scared me. How did that still scare me? <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna casually get these beans because fucking hell. I mean, for one thing, I knew he was gonna jump up when I hit him. I didn't know he was gonna jump up as soon as I let go of the button. Or as soon as I tapped the button, before the spell had even been cast, he jumped up with like two frames of animation. Scary music starts playing, and he runs towards you and you're like, oh my god, this I can't I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. And he's invincible, of course. You can't defeat him. But if he catches me now, he'll take the key. That's the, the part of this thing that's hard. It, yeah, it is funny. It is funny that I can just be on this table and I'll be like, oh, phew. But that's the first instinct every every kid has. It's like, oh shit, he's, scared, he's chasing me. Don't run to the door. Run higher up. Get the higher ground. Because, you know, kids climb on things. And you always play that game like, don't touch the floor because it's lava. Well, it's the same sort of deal here. Don't touch the floor because then the guy will get you. In fact, that comes into play later. It's just a real cool childhood moment thing. And I don't know. Can he just get me? Yeah, they don't... They don't want it able for you to be gotten in the entire room. It kind of diminishes the scary factor once you know you can... the safe spots. But... Another moment in the game where... Oh, he's asleep again. I could go in there and mess with him. But yeah. Another moment in the game where I usually shit my pants, and in fact I did this time as well. I can't believe it got me. I was prepared for it so much. That was like the scary part. The jump scare. I mean, there are more. But that's like the first one. And it's the most memorable. And it still got me. And look, here's some other trolls. These trolls are smaller. They can still hurt you. Although they're stupid. It's really funny how they do that. This game's got a sense of humor. So yeah, you gotta do the same thing with these guys, except you don't have higher ground. You do not have a hiding place. If they decide to chase you, you might get hit. But really, a lot of this level, or this area, is not difficult, it's just unsettling. It gives you the feeling that there's it's just not safe. Even though really, you've been able to take hits a lot. And it's all kind of fine, really. I think I'm running out of energy. Let's have a quick break, and I'll eat a cookie. Okay. That was a nice cookie or two. It's always good to have a cookie. And look, what's this? It's the jar of fireflies that Snape wanted. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Give me those fireflies. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quiddle is about to start, and you're already late. How are you already late if it's just about to start, I wonder? So that exchange, like most of the cutscenes in this game, very strange. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Well, yeah, I never noticed before. I mean, I did notice. I'm just explaining it. Ding ding bell in the background. Tells you you got a lesson to go to. And it's defense against the dark arse. Here's another one of these. Ah! 
Can I get there? Oh, no, I cannot. These fucking yakety yak books. The most annoying thing about this part is that they just sometimes don't stop for you. Alright, now I got it. So if I... They won't shut up either. And you think, well, you did it in plenty of time, but no, there's another door. Beans on the floor too, so I gotta get those. Ugh. Gotta get on the. Yeah! Now I've got plenty of time. The one thing I hate about this particular room is you gotta stand on one book. But sometimes the second book takes a really long time to get into place. Welcome, young Mr. Potter, to d d defense against dark arts. You're just in time. Gather round, class. I'm P -P Professor Quirrell, and this is your d d defense against the dark arts lesson. You may b begin, Harry. T today we'll learn a most p powerful spell, Vertimilius. Get ready. Oh, okay. What's the spell for? That was good. Excellent. Perfect. C concentration, please. It's going to, to get difficult. I'm sure it is, but what is this spell, by the way? That was good. Excellent. All the concentration needed to make this simple task simpler. Perfect. In my brain. Watch out for this oh, one. Watch out. That was good. Yeah, I should have watched out for that one. Excellent. You ever notice it, it, the way he says "excellent" is Perfect. very strange. You may now enter the chamber one at a t -t -t time to p -p practice the Verdimilius spell. Now, Harry, let's see how you d defend yourself against the d -d dark arts. First, c cast your Verdimilius spell toward the d darkness. Observe how the Verdimilia spell flares, forcing back the d d darkness, lighting the p path across. F f follow the path quickly, as your spell will only hold off the d d darkness for a brief time. Good luck, young wizard. Hmm. I get the feeling that, you know, they got his voice clips and then they just got the first bit of it and repeated it to make him look like, sound like he's stuttering. Because that didn't sound quite right. But regardless... I am literally defending myself against the dark with this spell. Whoa! I love this Verdimilius. Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Yep, yeah, five points. Harry, I've been waiting for ages. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? I do. That must be where the stolen object is. Sorry? Let's split up and look for a way up there. I hardly know- Good luck, Harry. It, Hermione, I hardly know you. I don't know what you're trying to do, but I don't want any part of it. Stolen item. You know what? I don't even want- I don't even want to go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Do you know why? I don't know. Oh yeah, Verdimilius, of course. 